All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So this Fake Card was sent to me to support, I guess, Super Vicey Bell and replace Tinker. So uh, let's see if it's actually that good and see if it can actually replace Tinker. So this is Fiendish Monk. Card art looks like something from Dark Souls. Like, look, look at that art. No, no, no. It kind of looks like uh, uh, Kill Gun from that, uh, that terrible, terrible anime that I don't like to talk about. <laughs> anyway, uh, he is level 2, Dark. He is a fiend and a tuner, but he's not an effect monster, even though he has an effect and he has a color effect monster, so I guess I forgot to put effect. <laughs> uh, 800 attack, 1400 defense, which is fine, so he's less than 1000, so you can summon it back with uh, Limit Reverse, so that, that's, that's good in my book. Uh, so look at this effect. Uh, when this card is summoned, you can send one level 10 or higher monster from your deck to the graveyard. Wow, if you're not wearing the fact that, hey, this is an EU Bell deck on your sleeve, like... <laughs> That's so situational. Like, you would never play this card outside of just doing some U-Bell Supervised Shenanigan. You go ahead and just go Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman, use your normal summon for your fact. Your fact summon this back. This will go ahead and send you U-Bell or any other form of U-Bell. That's cute. That's cute. It'd be great if you could send, you know, like, a, a dark monster. But I guess that'd be really rocking because then he'd kind of be like an Armageddon Knight. Because then I could at least send, like, Doom Shaman. If I open up with this, I can summon this to send Doom Shaman and then have the play set up. Because really, this can only send you Bell or other forms you Bell when it comes to that play. But that's still not terrible. It's still not terrible. All right. So, uh, you can only use this effect once per turn. I, I mean, I guess. I mean, I really don't see myself using this effect multiple times a turn. I guess I could. If I can go swing, summon Doom Shaman, uh, supervise. So, facts, I'm back this, send you bell, sync, supervise will summon me back, you don't know someone for a fact, summon back this, send another form of you bell, like, because <laughs> it says 10 or higher, so I, I could probably send, like, all three forms of you bell to the grave, which means that I won't be drawing them, so that's nice. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard for the synchro summon of a dark synchro monster, uh, so, Beals, or Hot Red, Scar Right, like, alright, alright, so, probably one of those. Uh, you could target one level 10 or higher monster from your graveyard, special summon it, destroy it during the end of the turn it was summoned by this effect. So, pretty much, if I go sink into Bills, this will go ahead and summon you Bell. You Bell will be destroyed during the phase, and I'll get Terror. So then I'll have Terror and Bills off of pretty much one synchro play. That's pretty good. That's, that's, that's really good. It's just interesting that you say level 10 or higher, and you're just like, oh, no, that that's not bad. That's not bad. It's only for you, Bell. But you could probably exploit it with some other, you know, uh, level 10s or higher. Like, I mean, you could you could possibly just go ahead and summon, like, an Egyptian god or something. I mean, they're level 10, right? You know? It's anything that could be done with Mound of the Bound, Brown Town, Gown Down, Getting Down with your bad self creator. Uh can work for this, so that's 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 pretty good. But no, I, I think that's what it was meant for. Just go in the bills, this will summon back you bell, you bell will be destroyed, summon terror, and then you have terror and bills, which is probably one of the best combos that super price you bell has. So that's cute, that's cute. I, I I like it, I like it. So uh final verdict, would I replace Tinker? Yeah. Yeah, just cause that second effect. If it was just the first effect, I'd be like, no I'm good, you know. I'll get I'll get you bell to the graveyard eventually. You know, I run you know, Summer Monk, Armageddon Knight, Dark Greffer, Beatrice, like, it, you better will get to the graveyard eventually. But that second effect, the combo off of, uh, of just this one card, and, you know, not only am I just going to go into a Bills, but I get a Terror Incarnate too, then, yeah, 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 you know, because, uh, especially with the version that supervises now, where there's pretty much no limit reverse, we're getting more aggressive with it. Uh, I gotta use my Doom Shaman play to summon Yubel. I gotta go the classic Doom Shaman, summon Yubel. You know, Yubel trip off Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman destroy Yubel, tear. If I want to do that play. If I want to do that play. But uh, with this, you know, I get both. I get the best of both worlds. I get that Beal Synchro Summon and I get the Terran Incarnate. So that's great. Uh, Tinker, I mean, the, the scene of the top card, I mean, don't don't scoff on that. You know, that's probably one of my favorite things about Tinker. It just happened to be that a level 2 tuner fiend dark happens to work really well with the deck when it comes to doing synchro plays but then it's you know it's standalone effect just like hey not sent to the graveyard you get to look at the uh top card of the deck you know put it top or bottom it's really nice so just like draw it's like hmm well do i want this uh this uh swing of memories or silent <laughs> doom for next turn hell yeah well, this on the other hand you know i can pull off this play sure i can summon the bill sure i can summon the the terror but 
I don't get to see the next card like Tinker. I could be drawing into crap next turn. They can handle my field. So I you know, you know they both have their pros and cons. But yeah, I I, I kind of like Greenish Monk. I might I might make a room for him and throw him in along with Tinker, and then I'll I'll get to decide which one I want to do with certain plays. Because you know sometimes we don't go into a Dark Synchro Monster. Sometimes we go into like Scrap Dragon, Crimson Blader. So Greenish Monk wouldn't get an effect, and therefore Tinker would be the better choice. You know so yeah. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to create this fake card. Send it to me. Uh, you know, I really do appreciate you. Uh, you know, going out of your way to participate in this fake card Friday. And uh, you know, it's you guys can always send me fake cards. You know, if I if I deem them interesting, then I will go ahead and uh, look at them. You know, uh, we're trying to keep this series as interesting as possible. So. Uh, anything that I find interesting, we'll go ahead and look at for Fake Card Friday. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what we're going to look at for Fake Card Friday next Friday. All right, people, thanks for watching.